In this video, we're going to take a look at rotation snapping. Now, here I have a cube already in my scene. And if you try to rotate any object, generally speaking, you're doing kind of a free form rotation. So you'll notice that over inside my inspector, my rotate x is adjusting by very tiny values reflected by these five digit decimals that are taking place after our numbers. If you need a more precise rotation, say for instance you know you want to rotate by increments of 15 degrees, you can hold down control and have rotation snapping along any one of your axes. So now as I rotate you see we have 15 degrees, now technically that's 14.99997 but that's close enough to 15 that really you wouldn't be able to tell a difference when looking at it. That's extremely close to 15 degrees. So there's a little bit of approximation in there. That's because internally this is being calculated as a quaternion. Right. It's actually held and calculated as a quaternion to prevent gimbal lock, which is a bit more technical term. So as you rotate greatly, if you see the other values in Y and Z, those will change um, depending on how far you rotate. And that is because what you see as X, Y, and Z rotations are an approximation of what that quaternion actually is. That's right. So as I continue to rotate this around its x-axis, you'll see all kinds of interesting things happening to the other numbers. The important thing is to keep an eye on what it is your object is actually doing because it is rotating to these snapped increments. Now for simplicity's sake, I'm going to take all my rotations here and we're going to zero these out. Start back over. Now how do you change the increment we're using for this rotation snapping? Let's go to edit and jump down to snap settings and you can see our rotation increment value is currently set to 15 degrees. We could, for instance, set this up to 30 degrees. And now, if we hold down control and rotate, we're now rotating at these 30 degree increments. Now, a couple of things about this. If you're doing free rotation, not along one of the axes, holding down control will make no difference. You cannot snap if you're not rotating around a specific axis. So we can snap around Z, we can snap around Y, and we can snap around X, but we cannot snap just kind of freely if we're kind of rotating in screen space or just kind of freely rotating with the gizmo. And please keep that in mind because that can be a little bit uh, confusing the first couple of times you do it. But that is a quick look at snap rotations, which will wrap up this video. Thank you for watching.